Microsoft Ads has had Performance Max campaigns for almost a year now. If you're already running campaigns in Google and want to try it out in Microsoft, the process is a little bit easier. You can import your Google Ads PMAX campaigns into Microsoft, and we're going to show you how in this video. Just keep in mind, yes, this does make the campaign creation process in Microsoft easier, but it's not going to be as one-to-one -one as you think. We're going to cover everything, so let's begin. The only way I can make this video is to use an actual client account. So I apologize right in the beginning that I will have to blur out a good amount of stuff on the screen later on. Now, I'm not sure how fast the new Microsoft Ads interface is rolling out, but this particular account has it. So in order to start importing any campaign from Google Ads into Microsoft, you can see right here the import logo. And of course, we want to import from Google Ads. If you're new to importing campaigns from Google, you will need to sign in. I'm quickly going to jump ahead past this step because I'm going to have to blur everything out anyway. If you're just logging in with a singular email that's not a manager account, odds are it's fairly easy to find the one that you're looking for. You can also go up here. If you are in a manager account and you have lots of ad accounts, go ahead and search for whichever Google ad account you need. Or if it's already on the screen, just hit select. Your campaign will be brought over here and then go down and click next. I've already gone ahead and renamed this import. You really don't have to. I don't know anyone who goes and checks about the history of their imports, but it's really just going to include the account ID for your Microsoft Ads account and then like a date and time stamp of when this import has taken place. But the next step when importing a campaign is looking at the frequency and when you want to do it. By default, it's going to be set to automatic schedule. Of course, they're going to recommend it, but we typically find out that Microsoft Ads performs differently than Google. So I like to choose a custom schedule and I'm going to let Microsoft know I'm just doing this once now. This will make it a lot easier to optimize the campaign separately between the two channels. Next, scrolling down, you will see custom options. Do you want to customize your budgets? Yes, I always do. Since performance is different and volume is different, I don't want to sync my campaign budgets. But if you did, you can make it the same as Google or increase it or decrease it by certain amounts. Similar with your custom bids. Do you want to sync the same bid strategies? This one you may want to, but you know your accounts better than anybody. Do what's best for you there. And then there's a customized status option. It says deselect any items you do not want synchronized. I know keywords won't matter for performance max, but some of these options are. I'm going to leave it as is. When importing, you do have these advanced settings. For performance max, we need to click on this. That is because we want to look at importing specific campaigns and ad groups. Before, Microsoft was planning on importing everything. We don't want to do that. This account is newer. It's easy enough. They only have the one performance max campaign. Right now, we just launched with one asset group, but if you have several living within the same campaign, you can hand select just certain ones if you don't want to import everything underneath the Performance Max campaign. And there we see this box below is checked. Show paused ad groups and asset groups. Maybe something didn't perform in Google, but you want to test it out with Microsoft. You can bring over some of the paused assets as well. But choose your Performance Max campaigns that you want, and then click Next. Here's a section I'm not going to spend a ton of time in. Settings are going to be different for every account. For us, we already have account level URL set up within Microsoft. So no, I don't want to import the Google tracking template we have set up in Google Ads. It wouldn't make any sense. But go through every single one of these checkboxes to see if you want to include some of these settings, remove certain things before the import. We always want to associate it to the Microsoft UET tag. Some of these aren't going to apply to Performance Max all the time, but just read through all of them. There are additional options, all in terms of appending text, using your tracking templates, replacing certain texts and like campaign names and ad group names, all that type of stuff. I have used this one sometimes, or if you know you want to make future edits, and you don't want the campaign to run right away after the import. You're telling Microsoft, anything I import, pause right away. I need to circle back later, double check my work, maybe get client approval, all this type of stuff. But you can explore this on your own. So let's just click next. Second chance to rename your import. You could schedule the import if you want to. It's going to be something where if you do want to sync it more, but I just want to do this one time right now. So let's start the import. And then we'll play the waiting game. Let's just take a couple of seconds, maybe a minute or two, depending on how many assets you're importing over. So through the magic of editing, we're going to let this campaign import, and then we'll jump to the screen that's going to pop up next. This is what we'd like to see. All green check marks. The import was a success. Everything that we wanted brought over was brought over, and nothing was skipped. Here's another opportunity to set a schedule if you do choose to sync anything with Google. But for now, I just want to view the imported campaign. Now, when you're reviewing your campaigns, I will say the new Microsoft Ads interface does make it a little difficult to find the campaign type filter. It's in such small font up here in the upper right. And I have my screen zoomed in a couple times. So filter it by just Performance Max, 
or maybe all campaigns, and then you can search for it. But here's our newly imported Performance Max campaign. This is where we recommend to actually go within the campaign and making sure it's set up the way we want to. Of course, it's doing well. I just imported it. No spend or everything. Thanks, Microsoft. You can update your budget here if you forgot to change it before you synced it over. Bid strategy, limited between these two. Not much we can do. You can also go within the campaign settings and start updating these things as well. Probably the most important part for Performance Max is going to be your asset groups because we had a specific target created for the Google Ads asset group. I want to see how that translates over to Microsoft. For now, I'm just going to edit the asset group and I'm going to look at a few things. Asset group name is fine. They have the final URL correct. Looking at the actual assets themselves, all of the images that I used in Google Ads were imported just fine for Microsoft. No concerns there. Going to keep jumping down. They just have the one logo. That was fine. All of our headlines that we're using are exactly the same. That's great. All of our long headlines that we were using are exactly the same. Good. Descriptions, just fine. Business name, good. Call to action, the same. So far, so good. More options is just additional URL stuff. Now the audience signal, that's the big difference because we were adding search term filters for the Google Ads asset group. Now for this one, there's nothing there. Yeah, they have demographics, but it's not a one-to-one -one match. That's because Microsoft's asset group targets and how you build the audience signals there are going to be different than Google's. And this is the clear indication that if you want to use all the same images, headlines, descriptions, whatever, importing it will save you a lot of time that way. However, we have to go back in here and make sure the audience signals are exactly what we want it to be for Microsoft. So I'll have to either go into interests, which we see is their in-market audiences, start typing in certain things here that I would want to target. There's one option there. Just adding a few of these. Oh, that's good enough. Let's add them to the mix. And now we're changing our audience signal based on what Microsoft offers. And there you have your first party data. So your remarketing list, your customer list uploads, whatever. And then we can save this. I know I should go ahead and change the name, but it doesn't matter. So if you're thinking, well, I have an all visitors audience created in both Google and Microsoft, it'll probably attach it to the same, right? Same thing with customer lists. And the answer is no, Microsoft's not going to take your customer list that you uploaded from Google and automatically upload it into their own system. It doesn't work that way. So for any first party audiences, make sure those are already created within Microsoft and built. Any of your custom segments and all the other audience signals that you've built within Google, you can't import those. You're going to have to use the in-market audiences for Microsoft. That's just the way it is. And that's the rest that we can do within this asset group. So I'm going to save it and now it's good to go. And then just like Anything else, you can go ahead and create additional asset groups and then run through the same thing that we just went if you want to test out different targeting options within the same campaign. As I cancel out of there, I know in the import one, we only had the one asset group to upload, but if you were importing Performance Max campaigns with multiple asset groups, this would be the area where all of your asset groups would live within the one campaign. Go ahead and run through every single one. Does everything look good to how you want it to be before you launch? may not be a big deal with other campaign types, but this is exactly why when we import it, I typically like to pause the campaigns after the import until I'm done making these changes and assessing if it was imported properly and set up the way we want it to be. I know that you can import Google Ads campaigns via the Microsoft Ad Editor. We do it for search campaigns all the time. And to be honest, I haven't even looked to see how it's done with Performance Max. And I say this because Performance Max is such a visual campaign type. Personally, it's just easier for me to go through the asset groups, see all the images and headlines within the desktop interface. But it's your account, your choice, do whatever is most convenient for you. If you have any other questions on Microsoft's Performance Max campaigns or how to import Google Ads campaigns into Microsoft, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.